a service mesh is a dedicated infrastructure layer for making service to service communication safe, fast, and reliable. Today, we have Jeffrey Holman, Vice President, Principal Analyst of Forrester, and Xi Ning Wang, Senior Technical Expert, who is in charge of ASM product, Dong Sheng Li, who is Chief Architect from Dongfeng Nissan Data Marketing Company. According to the CNCF survey last year, 27% of enterprises are using service mesh in production, and 23% are also evaluating service mesh. It is obvious that this number will continue to rise as enterprises continue to expand their microservice. So, Jeffrey, according to you, why service mesh is needed and what are the different values? So service mesh is a cloud native technology in transition, in my opinion. Um, this is the year I think it really gets over the hump. Uh, for a few years, we've seen somewhat slow adoption, uh, mainly because enterprise organizations weren't sure what problem it solved and whether or not they had those problems. Service meshes and can be complex to roll out and maintain especially if you're trying to do it on your own instead of as a managed service. Teams can configure service meshes in myriad distinct styles, patterns, and scopes of functionality depending on their needs and the preferences of microservice development teams in their enterprises. So to effectively plan and implement the service mesh, developers and solution architects must have a, a real strong understanding of how it removes complexity in their environment. Now, what we're seeing is that as organizations start to scale up their cloud native efforts, and in particular, as they begin to spend more time modernizing their existing applications, the benefits of service meshes are starting to become more apparent to enterprises. Some of the most compelling reasons that we see organizations adopting a service mesh include integration, especially if they are trying to integrate cloud native applications and microservices to traditional application constructs. So for example, I have a container and it needs to talk to a virtual machine. I need to go from a cluster that's in the public cloud uh, to an application that's running on premise. Um, securing communications between microservices. So as you start to break a monolithic application into a lot of independent services, it really increases its attack service. Every microservice is a potential entry point to protect uh, from nefarious access by bad actors. And so a service mesh is really good uh, for securing those microservices. Uh, one healthcare uh, technology firm that we talked to um, was building microservice and was very concerned about meeting their compliance requirements. And they felt that implementing the service mesh was a good way uh, to make sure that they would remain in compliance as they modernized. Traffic management is another reason that a service mesh uh, can be very helpful. And as more development organizations start to look at doing modern practices like multivariate testing, uh, doing chaos testing in production, uh, doing rolling updates of microservices, uh, the benefits of a service mesh as enabling that and making it easier to do uh, become more apparent. Uh, so uh, the ability to choose from multiple models for how they update those services uh, and the complexity uh, and manage the complexity of those is, 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 is really important. Um, so another use of service meshes is really good uh, capabilities to identify what's happening when a microservice misbehaves in the runtime environment. When you've got dozens or even hundreds of microservices running, uh, there are many individual processes that need production monitoring and service level management uh, to make sure that you're meeting your availability and performance goals. Uh, so knowing exactly what's going on is something that a service mesh can do uh, by using the sidecar model in the Kubernetes world to get that telemetry and make it available. It can help developers understand uh, what's going on. Okay, thank you. And Kubernetes is becoming a cloud operation system that supports distributed application. While the industry generally believes that the service mesh is becoming the new battleground in platform wars. So where do you stand on the saying that we still need service mesh while we already have Kubernetes, Jeffrey? Well, I think you need both. Uh, to me, it's kind of like saying, I've got a really good hammer, so why do I need a screwdriver? 
Uh, for most carpenters, the answer is, yeah, you need both because they do complementary things. So I don't see a time in the next decade when most businesses won't need to connect to things besides containers. VMs are going to be around for a long time. And I think as more development teams discover the need to test in production, they're going to look for tools that give them fine-grained traffic control. Doesn't necessarily mean that Istio will be the service message choice, uh, though. Two years ago, it looked like that's the course that we were on, but Google got a bit squishy on the governance model for Istio, and it caused uh, enterprises and ISVs to take a second look. Um, and developers are starting to look at things like how Istio compares to Linkerd or other commercial offerings, uh, which of these can best meet my needs. And the services provided by Service Mesh can potentially be provided by other technologies too. Uh, my teammate, David Muter, recently wrote a blog post about Dapper and asked if it were a better alternative to the needs developers have uh, compared to a service mesh. If you're not familiar with Dapper, it's a coding framework intended to solve the challenges of modern distributed applications. While a service mesh focuses on networking infrastructure concerns, Dapper focuses on what developers need to build microservices. So I think this is an exciting area. I think service mesh is important. It's a key tool. It's a tool that we are going to use. Istio will very probably feature in that and, and be part of the solution. It may not be the exclusive solution. I think what we'll have to do is to continue to watch what developers build here. Um, I can tell you though, I think that any solution that makes it easier for developers to quickly build, deploy and operate microservices at scale while abstracting them from lower level networking concerns is gonna prove popular, especially if it's easy to install, run, manage and use. So that's why I think that, that hosted uh, uh, service mesh uh, capabilities will be increasingly popular uh, because it'll make them easier uh, to inject into enterprise organizations. Okay, thank you. And how about you, Xinying? Uh, the major cloud vendors already provide the service mesh products and uh, solution offerings. For example, last year, Alibaba Cloud had launched one managed service mesh product named Alibaba Cloud Service Mesh. For short, we call it ASM. Yeah. ASM not only can help our customers lower the barrier to use, but also can provide a lot of enterprise level capabilities uh, including enterprise security, uh, scalability, uh, observability, uh, 24 and seven online professional production support and so on. Today, I want to share one customer case with you to show how the customer use Alibaba Cloud Service Mesh product in their business applications. Uh, let's welcome Dong Shun Li, who is chief architect from Dong Feng Nissan Data Marketing Company Limited. Hello, Dushan. Uh, would you like to have a brief about the background, uh, why you use service mesh in your business uh, applications, and what pain points have been resolved by service mesh technology? Okay, okay. As a data service provider for the entire value chain of automobiles, we are providing digital service, sales service, customer service, operation service, Omnichannel data value, mining analysis, and application for Dongfeng Nissan and other brands. With the development of business, the 12 companies tax environments created earlier can no longer meet many concurrent needs. Therefore, the R&D department urgently needs to upgrade the past environments to the infinite and auto scaling. So that in addition to automatically providing a development on demand. It also needs to save server resources. In the realization, one of the key points is the need to for refined management of layer seven traffic, which can be forward according to the desired situation, such as header cookies. Hitting the application corresponding to the demand or hitting the default application this can not only solve environmental problems, but also reduce server resource cost. Yes, yeah. very nice. Uh, would you like to share your service mesh journey with us? Before we talking about everything about service mesh in deeply, I want to explain how we need a service mesh. At DNDC, we run hundreds of microservices that do everything from the best customer experience. Running microservices at scale is not without its own challenges. 
when we compare to last year, our microservice size is rapidly increasing. So it becomes increasingly difficult to understand the interaction between all these services. When a problem occurs in the microservice world, it can be really difficult to find where the problem is. Service Mesh addresses these challenges. Yeah, when you decided that you are ready for a service mesh, uh, I think there are still several options to choose. For example, there are a lot of service mesh products in the software world. Uh, for example, A2, LinkedIn, LinkedIn 2, Kuma uh, Mesh, or Console Connect, and so on. So, uh, what's your decision about this? Okay, much like Kubernetes has become the de facto container orchestration standard. Istio is often seems as the de facto service mesh standard. And Istio is also the most popular service mesh from the recent surveys by CNCF. We made some of benchmark text to show latency between our microservice communication. Istio and other service mesh products are nearly the same. In our use case, we decided to use Istio. Why? but we don't direct, directly use open source community tools. And we know that Alibaba Cloud has launched one product named Alibaba Cloud Service Mesh for short ASM. So uh, why you finally choose Alibaba Cloud Service Mesh for your business applications? As the industry's first fully managed is still compatible service mesh product, ASM has maintained the consistencies with the communities and industry chains from the beginning. The components of the control plane are hosted on the Alibaba cloud side and are in independent of user size cluster on the data plane. By this management mode, the life cycle management of the control plane components and the data plane's KBIS cluster is decoupled making the architecture more flexible and improving the scalability of the system. ASM not only help us lower the barrier to use, but also provides some enterprise level capabilities, such as security, scalability, observability, and 24 seven production support. ASM help us Shorten the service mesh technology landing cycle, shorten by 75%. The upgrade iteration efficiency is increased by 70%. The abnormal troubleshooting cost is reduced by 18%. And the control place resource cost is reduced by 100%. Seeing. Yes, as an important link uh, between the up layer applications and the low uh, layer of computing infrastructure layer, ASM can provide uh, the following capabilities uh, from three perspectives. Uh, firstly, uh, from the pers perspective of a downward integration with the infrastructure layer, ASM can be thought as anywhere service mesh. Its goal is to enable service mesh capabilities for application services running on any computing infrastructure layer. Uh, secondly, from the perspective of service mesh building in feature enhancement, ESM can provide the unified traffic control, unified security protection, and the unified observability to our application services without the uh, most uh, uh, code change. Uh, Last one, from the perspective of supporting the application layer and the ability to be integrated upwards. Uh, for example, ASM can provide the easy to use APIs for integration and also provide the declarative APIs uh, which are fully compatible uh, with its community. ASM fully leverages the advantage of Alibaba cloud infrastructure to build the multi regions and the multi zones topology and build one dedicated support team to guarantee the stability of managed service. Uh, due to the limited time, I will close my topic here. Please visit the website of ASM products and go through the features and the use case. 
to understand what ASM can do for you. Uh, we appreciate our customer to share their service mesh adoption ex experience. Hi, Dong Shun, and thanks a lot for your time. See you, see you later. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much.